Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, today we're going to conclude the tour. Hopefully get it all done in a two part. Two part. I don't want it to drag out too long. So I've got other stuff I want to get done for the channel as well. So bear with us and uh, see what else we can get today. Hopefully it's not going to be tubs of dirt and boring shit. So yeah, hopefully we get some good stuff. So yeah, stay with us. Okay, so if any of you can remember from the last video, we had the Dolomedes female holding the sack. And that was actually filmed about three days ago before I uploaded it. And this is what we have now. Many, many, many Dolomedi babies again. Hopefully now the hot weather's gone. I don't suffer with too many losses with these because there was loads that didn't make it last time. And I think that was a lot of it was down to heat issues. You got a bit more experience with these guys now, so hopefully there's a few less mistakes we make here as well with raising them. But yeah, there's quite a lot in here again. Um, she's done a really good job because this is the second sack she's laid for me now. Um, we'll try to show mum next, now she's back in her actual proper enclosure. Okay, so back to the racking now. This is a dollar midi setup. I've added this cork bucket and she has been sat under there a lot above the water. So I was planning on feeding her tonight using the water method. I'm going to check, she's not there. So I was looking around in the enclosure, wondering where the earth she's gone to and He is there. It's a really awkward angle because of the way the racking is. But there she is. There's mum. And to say she isn't actually looking all that thin in the abdomen now to lay in that sack either. And I haven't fed her since. So she's doing really well. But yeah, she's a beast. This is a 30 by 30 exoterra to give you some sort of size idea. Yeah, let's go into a see what else we can find for you. Okay, next up we have a sling. We have five of these, and oh, if I can find it in here, I saw it a minute ago. There. It's just on the crease. I can move my thumb. Sorry, this is rubbish. It's just above my thumb. Hopefully you can make that out. I know it's really awkward. They are really small. So I can move into light a bit more. Yeah, you can just about make it out. But this is Edipura sanguina. I think that's pronounced right. I've got five of these little guys. Um, they haven't fed yet. These came with the spiders will you order as well. And um, we'll see how we get one of these guys. Hopefully, grow them enough to breed. That would be cool. That's so hard to film with such a rubbish little phone. Definitely getting a tripod soon. Just how how handy, but holding my hand things really getting old. Next up, something different. The only phasmid we currently own, we have two of these, we did have five, but they've died throughout dry periods, malts, not sure. We got two of these, unknown, they were just purchased as leaf insects, I don't know which species they are exactly, but I mean, They're not huge, but they are really cool. The other one, you are, I don't think you can see, you won't be able to see it. It's actually a 
amongst there. I can just just about make it out there. But there you have bramble and hiss on the dry out. Give it a good spray. I think it's actually it's not even in the water anymore. The water needs to be topped up in the little pot. But really, really cool little things. So yeah, what I've got you walking around nicely. There are a couple of things I was hoping to feature, but unfortunately it cannot. Um, there's two of our reptiles. So we are getting another one soon, another reptile. So what I will do is down here, and in that one we have two snakes the second one i showed is a young species and the first one is a adult male um so the first one they're both in the shed which is why i can't show you the first one is a mohave raw python and the second one is a hypo het lipstick boa constrictor um, the next species we are looking at picking up is a young hopefully an 18 CB18 berm or Burmese python from a friend of mine So that's our next project. Fingers crossed. We're in this corner. I'm going to do a real blitz through. Because a lot of it you've seen before. So this is the highly reflective. Mumbo colony. We've got some patch grubs. I have no idea what I'm doing with these to be honest. Um, not that I, I don't know how to care for them, I mean I don't know why I've got them. Uh, they just matured and I'm not bothered to do anything with them. Um, we've got some hatched uh, hatched harder. Another one of the ly Lycosa. And you can't really see in here. No, it's too dirty. But well, these are their sub adult white spot setups in here. No. That's just some white spots again. Um, again. Same in there. They're white spot nymphs. We'll get something down now and uh, have a look at something different. Okay, next we have my unsexed parahibana, who is your typical I hate water. Are we going to get today? I'm doing this one handed, so. Oh, a bit too much power. Salmon pink bum. See if uh... oh, she's just going to come out on her own. Well, I say she, I don't know. Unsexed. Uh... See if I dr give it a Mario one because I can just pick that out one handed. Alright. Give me that look. OK, 
Okay. And poof. And next up we have these vials, which were a gift from the inverted barbarian and the wee dude. These are stay stay atoda Pekiliana slings in here. And so a quick count we've got twenty seven, give or take. We might have some more somewhere else. But I'll put a picture of an adult because these are quite small still in here. Okay, so this is our newest arrival. And I'm going to put his name on the screen because I can't say it. But it's a Acanthoscuria insubitilis, I believe. I've probably completely butchered that. It's going to go on screen, but I haven't seen these for ages. And it's a really nice dose. Well, I say dose. Well, this one's really docile. Um, and it's just absolutely lovely. I got it a couple of days ago. We've just popped it in the enclosure that it's in at the moment. I am thinking of upgrading it already, really, because now looking at it, looking at it, oh, I don't know. It could be okay. Let's we'll see how it gets on in here. Let's see if I can uh, entice it with a Mario. Um, much to your guys. Joy, I have finally ordered a tripod, so there'll be no more of this as I'm recording and trying to do stuff with my other hand. Um, that should be coming next week. So, there's a couple more videos due, I reckon, before the tripod will come. Please don't run over the top. Because you're quite high up. But still settling in. I don't think it's really interested. It doesn't look like it's, it's nowhere near really malt. Pre-malt or nothing like that. It's just settling in. So I'll just leave that Mario in there. It'll either dig it out or it'll turn into a beetle. And then you can leave the beetle. Um, if it was malt, I'd have moved the, moved the spider and taken the Mario out. Well, in pre-malt, sorry. So, god damn hands there we go so yeah finally getting a tripod coming but this is lovely i was really happy to find one of these hoping it's a female we can all hope okay so we finally get a good shot of this at last long long last i'm not going to take the lid off because it'll bolt but this is the viridaceous species we have that is absolutely such levy markers on these they are super quick let's see if I can demonstrate it if I move the enclosure slightly and it's just going to sit there and ignore me <laughs> it's getting braver. This is getting older. But no, they these are if anyone's ever kept them you'll know what I mean, but these are lightning quick. 
can't unscrew the lid because I've only got one hand. We'll try. Let's have a look. Oh, it's on the move. <laughs> so chilled out at the moment. I'm not going to purposefully stress it out. But. I've lost a good, lost a good shot of it now. Yeah. Oh well. But yeah, get in there. Use the same size tub as the, uh, the Cassia in. So you can get an idea of how big it's got so far. Okay, so in here we have one of the Petusia Lucassis. It's uh, they're finally starting to get a bit of a size on them now. Still really small. Um, they usually sat on the roof of the jar, but every time I unscrew it, it's, they seem to drop. Um, let's see if I can get a roach. Chuck it in, see if it will pick it up. I don't think it will. You usually have to put it in their web for them. Might be a bit too big as already. We'll see. Give it a sec. Maybe not. But yeah, we got about six of these. Okay, next up is Decay Hibernalis. And I've really struggled with this thing. It's, I don't know, rubbish. I've not been able to uh, get very far with it. It's finally actually started to web now for like two months um, see if we can get to eat so I can't get the roach oh no there we go that would be the wood seriously Getting warmer, warmer. This thing's an idiot. <laughs> See if we can give it a hand. What are you even doing? Oh my gosh. It's behind you. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. God damn, that was hard work. Okay, so here we have the Euscorpius Italicus uh, scorpions we have that we got from the wizard over at the Invertebrarian. Uh, these are doing really well. They've never failed to eat for me. Take every time. Get a nice bit of sting action as well. My favourite scorpion we have at the moment. 
without a doubt. He's just never failed to disappoint. But yeah, he's growing really well. Um, I've just watched his last video and his have just molted. So I'm hoping these molt out soon. Um, but yeah, they're lovely little things. And we have... You can see how small it is in the cup. <laughs> We've got three. But yeah, you can see it is absolutely tiny. I really struggle getting these on camera because they're super scarce and super shy. But this is one of our two macrocentrist King's DI specimens. Uh, the other one is a bit bigger, but it's a lot harder to film just because it's a lot more scarce and a lot bigger, so it's easier to bolt out the enclosure but it's not a bad size all in all this one as it will get bigger but yeah it's just waiting to bolt pretty good feeders they've done quite well these i got at the uh western invert show So next up, I don't know if you can really see this, it's one of our new arrivals. Just make out some feet there. But this is our Omothymus, I think it is. Shiodeti. I rubbish at pronouncing his name, so this is a male. Um, but yeah, he's borrowed right down to the bottom, this piece of cork. Um, we have a pair of these, so hopefully we'll get some breeding going. Just added a load of live sphagnum moss just to help keep humidity up because I believe these like decent humidity and they are angry as I found out during unboxing when it arrived at half past one in the morning. Yeah, that was fun. Um, there's a little bit better of a shot, but you really can't see much. I've got a female, but I'm not going to show her. I'll show her enclosure, but she's right at the bottom of a court tube and you can't see her. There's no point trying. So, um, yeah, we've got some real nice new things at the moment. Okay, next up, as I mentioned, here is our female to the pair. And there is her court tube, and it's really high up to give her because this is sloped as well in here. Give her a decent amount to burrow into. So the front's right to the top, and that is quite deep at the back, really, for her to burrow into. We will take this out when we try to feed her, because obviously she's in that cork tube. And actually she's burrowed quite deep into the bottom by now. Um, they will purchase an eight and a half centimeter leg span, but they're, she's probably closer to 10 maybe a little bit more so they've still got a while to grow yet these, these do get massive from what I've read but um yeah very angry angry lady she was uh, she spent a few minutes trying to uh, tear everything apart for me and tacked me and tongs and a tub and a glass and the air and the bath and the plug and everything she could get a hold of but hey She's still pretty. Let's see what else we've got for you. Okay, next up we have a P. Rigius female and a sack. Which she is uh, very diligently guarding. I'm getting a bit concerned because she has. Oh, I'm not used to over again. Um, lost a lot of weight but she won't feed while she's holding that
this is going to be a really boring one again, I'm afraid. But um, this is the harder enclosure now. They're all in here. Um, I will try and get some shots when feeding. They are dropping ace like crazy in here now. You can sort of just make the shadow of one out. At, ooh, that's up there. But there's 10 adults in here and they've been laying like crazy. Um, and if you can see that with a little, tiny little white, white cap on in the centre. No, it's not going to focus. There's one of the eggs. But they're doing really well. I've had a few nymphs from these so far, so hoping for a lot more. Now they're starting to get into full laying mode. Okay, first up, I don't know how this is going to go because the camera light. Um, I don't really want to take the lids off because they're everywhere in here at the moment. That's a bit better. So in here we have essentially a nursery, I guess you could say. This is where all I put all my eggs for what I suppose as roaches, which I've just chucked in recently because we had an explosion. What's well, explosion? We had quite a few eggs hatch, and I didn't want to start munching away. So this is white spot. This is uh, bigutatus, and um, they're all around the sides. And usually I'll take the lid off and show you guys, but while I'm doing this one-handed, I can see them just going everywhere. So that's our nursery. These and the next one is just empty at the moment, but this is a horrid one. Um, you can see some eggs. Yes, yeah, it's a stupid light. Ah, uh, lights everywhere. But same thing. This has just got eggs in at the moment, though. Probably, hopefully, pick a few out. Just there. Okay. Next. Okay. Next up is Arius Arius Crystallis. Um. This is one, the, the last remaining one in our collection, unfortunately. Um, so I'm assuming this was a failed project. Which is not great, but these are really hard to do in captivity. This is the last female. The male, um, this which I ended up co-having with her, is there. He finally came to the end. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any eggs or anything in here at the moment. Um, I'm not holding out any hope for this. I'm just in, going to enjoy keeping this last little beauty while well, we have her. So the common name with this would be the Wheeled Bug Assassin. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool. Native to America, I believe. Yeah, let's see if we can find anything else where she has a munch. Okay, so next up, we have a pair of the Fufius Manicus. I think that's how you say it. Got male and female. Um, I stupidly put them in these, not, like, not very deep ones. So opening the lids, I'm pretty wary of because these are quick. But um, luckily, I've got these set up to the point where I can just do. the lips but they don't seem to be working very well okay let's just let's try it I may regret this but we've got let's try and chuck a roach in bear with me one moment Yeah, it looks like not hungry. Oh no, I lie. Was hungry. That's a shame. It didn't come out earlier. We'll try the female in the next little shot, and um, 
See if we can get her out so you can get a look at them because they've got a lovely gold sheen to them. Okay, so let's try the female. Try to drop it a little bit further out, see if we can coax her out. Hopefully she doesn't bolt, because that won't be fun. We've got a catch cut ready though, so we're good. Come on, it's a boobier. No, oh, wrong way. Okay. So I can move the light a little bit further forward. A little bit better. Stupid dubia. Way wrong, wrong way. But. Right. Now you're on your back. Just try and move the light a bit further. But that's the best we're going to get. Come okay, on. He's sort of got a glimpse of the leg, but I think the ear's going to be really difficult to film without some decent gear. But at least they're feeding, which is good. Um, once they've settled in in the next couple of weeks or so, I will try. Oh, hello. Do you drop it? Don't you come bolting out? Ah! That's quite a nice shot. You dropped it. Alright, I'm we'll gonna drop another one in. Um, I hope she doesn't bolt or run at me. Hopefully, she'll sit there when I get another roach out. Bear with us. This is where I jump, break everything, and she bolts out for it. So quick. That was a much better shot. Hopefully, I'll try and uh, play around with the frame rate and uh, slow it down a bit and get a decent look at her. Yeah, we've actually got some decent footage for this tour video. Awesome.